Hey guys, how you doing? Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho. Uh, remember to follow me on Facebook, the community page there. Nitro Kyosho, all one word, will bring you there. Well, today guys, I got some more products I want to talk about. Uh, I've been doing this hobby for a little bit now. I've got to try out a lot of different motors and blades helicopters and transmitters and batteries and chargers and all kinds of different things and uh, when I find something I'm passionate about uh, I like to share it with you and uh, today I want to talk about one of the most important things uh, for an RC helicopter and that is blades. Now I've tried a lot of different blades guys and uh, I'm not here, like I said in my other videos, I'm not here to start bashing companies, so I'm not even going to try not to mention other, other names <coughs> of companies. Uh, but I want to talk to you about these blades that I'm passionate about, and they're Cyclone blades. Uh, these are uh, Tim Jones' brand of blades. Uh, and I was looking for a new blade when I was using, obviously you know the companies I've been using, SAB and... Uh, I didn't really like the SAB blades. Um, I had a lot of overcurrent warnings shooting off on my Castle uh, ESCs. And uh, if you watch some of my older videos, you hear a lot of bogging, a lot of dirty air. And uh, I talked to my friend, uh, Gregor McGrath, who used to work for A-Main Hobbies. Uh, he was a technician there. And also Jason Bell, uh, who works there. And they said that a lot of those issues were caused by the dirty air, the, the fluttering blades, uh, setting off those overcurrent warnings, and uh, it can make your motor get hot, too hot, if it's bogging. And the pitch was always perfect, guys, on them, so that was never an issue, and everything was always set up correct. Uh, also, my friend Chris, who I fly with, told me to try these blades. Now, besides just having a cool name, Cyclone, the... Uh, I went on, I think it was A-Main or Healy Direct, one of them, and I read the, you know, the story that goes along with the blades, and you're thinking, ah, oh, yeah, okay, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, I believe this, and yeah, it can do it all, but I tried a set, uh, the first set that I tried was on my 500 uh, Goblin back here, and instant, instant difference, I was shocked, I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but it felt like the helicopter had like these carbon fiber disc brakes or something. I mean, it was like, <laughs> stop, dead. The accuracy, I think it was more agile. It was more uh, stable. It tracked better. It stopped better. If you're doing a lot, of, I do a lot of rainbow TikToks. And, uh... I was extremely impressed, so I went out and I got another set for the Goblin 570. Uh, now that helicopter was probably the worst of the three for making a lot of dirty air and bogging sounds. And uh, actually having a little bit of a smaller blade on there, those are the 555 uh, uh, Cyclones instead of the 570 which is a little bit of a difference, but I still think it makes a little difference. Uh, it flies awesome with that. All the dirty air sounds, which you're going to hear in the videos I make this summer, are gone. The bogging, the air is cleaner sounding. I wish he made a set for the 380. I, I don't have him on the 380 because he doesn't make blades that small, and that's kind of a one-off size, uh, so it doesn't warrant uh, him making blades. Uh, for that, but he starts in the 500s, the 505s, 555s, 695s, and on from there. But nothing for 450 size helicopters, unfortunately, guys. Uh, but I've talked, to, I, I had the pleasure of meeting Tim, and I talked with him quite a bit through Facebook and everything, and I told him these blades are the real deal. I love them. And, uh, you know, they're really a one-off design. Nobody else has a design like this, which I think makes a huge difference, the tapered airfoil and the way it's designed. Uh, but I've tried a lot of different blades out there, and these are probably the 
in my opinion, the best blades. I know there's a lot of companies out there that make blades and a lot of different opinions. And I'm not here as a pitch man, guys, and I'm not here to try to tell you to go out and buy these blades, but uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a set, I'll tell you. Uh, I think you'd really like them. Uh, and I think well, the funny part was that when you read the, the article that goes along with them on Ely Directory, Main that, that tells you the story of them, you're sitting there kind of scratching your heads and yeah, I believe this and I believe, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they really do. I mean, it's incredible. They really are the all-in-one blade. They, they have the stability. Uh, they have that quick cyclic maneuverability. The stopping power, the bite, you hear it. The first flight you have with these blades, you will hear it and you will feel it. I guarantee you that much, guys. I can't guarantee you get your money back if you don't like them, but I can guarantee, I think you'll love them. Uh, it's just the sound, you're going to, I'll, I'll promise you this, guys. I've made a lot of videos. I've got over 700 videos. I promise you, you will notice a difference your first flight, and you will feel that and hear that bite in the air. Uh, but like I said, I've tried a lot of different brands, uh, and uh, you'll hear the difference. That, that, that really is feeling and hearing the difference, guys. Uh, you'll feel, you know, the stability. I know my 500, they all had different characteristics. The 500 became increasingly more stable. The 570 got rid of the overcurrent warning problems. Never had it again with those blades. Uh... And the bogging and all that dirty air went away. Uh, and this beast up here was just just about a combination of all those things. <laughs> when this thing barks, you you will know it now. I mean, those blades bite hard. And I would come down after flying that, and the guys always said, "You have a boom strike? Do you have a boom strike?" It sounded like it, and I said, "No." Uh, but uh, you know. What I always recommend, guys, is if you got your the smallest helicopter or whatever you have, try them out for that first before you spend the big bucks on the bigger machines. And, uh, you know, all I can tell you guys is from my flying experiences and uh, the products that I use and I'm passionate about. And when I find, you know, a product that I'm passionate about, I like to share it with you. I like to talk about it. I'm not endorsed by Tim Jones. You can ask him on Facebook if Nitro Kyosho Ray is, is, is a team. I'm not a team pilot. I'm not a, fa a team rep or anything for him. I just love the blades. And, uh, you know, I've talked to him several times and thanked him for making an awesome product. And when you find an awesome product, you get passionate, guys. You, you feel it. You know, you, you want to tell your buddy about it and, uh, you know, and, and share your thoughts with other people. You know, I tried these because of three guys getting in my ear about them, and uh, they weren't lying to me. They weren't wrong, and uh, I'd hate to feel like I was passing on information like that to you guys. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think they're great blades. That's all I can say. Uh, there's no other company that has a design like this. Uh, as far as the a lot of companies that, you know, you get the blades and they have a lot of flaws in them. The, the paint schemes on all these blades were perfect. Uh, very nice paint job. Uh, and, um, I just can't, I, I can't say enough uh, positive things about them, guys. That's, that's what I can tell you. I haven't tried the tail blades. Uh, maybe one of these days I'll pick some up for the machines. Uh, but I've been with you know, the main blades on all these machines, and it, you know, I think it made a huge difference on this one, it livening it up a little bit, making it that more agile beast, that more, what I was looking for, it really added a different thing to all of these guys, and uh, I'm just excited that I found this brand, and I'm, I'm excited to have them on my helicopters, and I'll guarantee you this, guys, that's all you're going to see on my helicopters from now on permanently. That's it. Uh, but let me show you these blades. Let me get that off of the pot. I've talked enough about them. And uh, let me just show you quickly what they look like on there. Alright, that's on the 700. 
These are the 695 blades, guys. All right, and that's the set on the, these are uh, the 555 blades, and these are the 505 blades on uh, this goblin, okay? So there you go, guys. You know, if you want to try a new product out, I would definitely recommend trying these blades, and I don't think you will regret it. Thanks for watching.